Hey, yeah, everything was good. What's good, sis? <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't have, I didn't even have the stuff put up. I'm like, oh man, I don't have it. The way up here, I'm hooked up. <laughs> yeah, that was my fault. All good, all good. No worries. Hey. We got, we got somebody new today. Mm-hmm. Proper. Mm -hmm. Islam says. <laughs> yeah. Start up with the prayer. This this happy happy holy day. <laughs> Five on the left, two on the right. A lot of Father of the Universe. A lot of Father of the Universe. Father of Love. Father of Love. Truth. Truth. Peace. Peace. Freedom. Freedom. And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My guide. My God. And my salvation. And my salvation. By night. By night. And by day. And by day. To his holy prophet. His holy prophet. Nova Juali. Islam. So what's the subject matter at hand tonight, brother? Well, I'm just, I'm just um, checking the phone quick fast because sis sent me some questions from earlier. So we could touch those ones first and then um, go into wherever else after that. All right. Um, I'm just finding the text. Got a quick, quick question for you. Yeah, sure. Have you, uh, have you had, a had time to go through any of the DVDs that we talked about? Uh, earlier just kind of set aside some of the ones that you kind of wanted us to uh you know view once you started separating have you started that yet just started i didn't get that fully i know you said you had a ton of to go through so oh for um oh for for with regard to to send for you guys yeah um well majority majority of those stuff are at the temple already so it's just, when i go there sunday I'll just pick up, pick up some stuff. All right. Well, let me know. Let us know then what you um, you know, need. You know, to cover any expenses. Yeah, yeah. Cover. Yeah. No, I will get that to you. Yeah, it shouldn't be too crazy because we're doing the um, we're still doing the um, the the fundraising drive. You know, donation, donation for for DVDs. Okay. And books and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I downloaded a program about mm, about a month ago. And we started, you know, uh, downloading and burning some of the videos off of YouTube. You yeah. Know? So I just got to figure out a way to get some of the ones off the site where, you know, you usually post your videos. Yeah. I can do it from YouTube, but I haven't figured out how to do it. Because yeah. I have a problem with even viewing the ones after a while. From the, from the Ustream? Yeah, from the Ustream. No, well, everything from the Ustream is on, on YouTube already. Okay. Yeah, because we, so we got pretty a channel, much... You got a channel on YouTube then? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll just start, you know, building an archive. Yeah, we upload Yeah, we upload everything to YouTube. All right, good deal. Um, um, so YouTube slash um, SuTechL. S-U-T-T-E-K-H-E-L. All right, say that again, brother. S-U-T... T E K H T E K H T E L E L Yeah That's the channel right Yeah that's the that's the YouTube channel All right Um <clears throat> So the first thing um that um came up was um 
Letters of Mark and Reprisal. Letters of Mark and Reprisal. Yeah. Um, Bills of Attainder. Ex Post Facto Law. And Ex Post Facto Law. Um, piracy. Commit, committed on land. Um, United States Supreme Court versus Supreme Court Pennsylvania. And I think that was, I think that was majority of it. The last one was U.S. Supreme Court. Or was that not like the case law though? Not yeah, like the case law. Yeah, the jurisdictions of the court. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So um. So we'll start up with um letters letters of mark. Well, actually, we'll start up with the Constitution, so we can understand why we're asking these questions. So, Section 10 of the Constitution, No state shall enter into any treaty, alliance, or confederation, grant letters of mark and reprisal, coin money, emit bills of credit, make anything but gold and silver coin a tender in payment of debts, pass any bill of attainder, ex post facto law, or law impairing the obligation of contracts or grant any title of nobility, right? So within the Constitution for the United States of America Republic, there's articles that apply to the trustees so that they can do their job properly. And Section 10 of, of Article 1 is basically letting the state know that they don't have any jurisdiction, right? They're subordinate and they have to act as a subordinate on behalf of the people, right? So it said, um, no state shall enter into any treaty, alliance, or confederation. So right there, if we go do our, our research on treaties with Indian nations, treaties with confederations, Indian confederations, alliances with Indian whatever, right? We'll see that the states, the corporate states, made treaties with Indians under the guise of we are the United States of America Republic. Right? When you use the term Indians, or you use the term Indians as in the Native American Indian? Yeah, as the Native, Native American Indian. Okay. Red man. What they call a Native American Mm -hmm. right. That's why I was getting clarification because they called everybody in the way they went. So. Right. Yeah. The, specifically, the natives on this side that they say are the Indians, the indigenous people. Right. Um, grant letters of mark and reprisal. <clears throat> so, letters of mark. <laughs> Letters of Mark, a commission given to a private ship by a government to make reprisals on the ships of another state. Hence also the ship thus commissioned. So letter of Mark, a commission given to a private ship by a government to make reprisals on the ships of another state. <clears throat> right, so reprisals. Then reprisals, the forcible taking by one nation of a thing that belonged to another in return or satisfaction for an injury committed by the latter on the former. Right? So the mark of reprisal is pretty much like the edicts that the popes were putting out against against the Moors, 
But in this sense, you're talking about admiralty. Because you're dealing with shipping. So because it's directly admiralty, right? They're using these terms, you know, reprisals and um, shadow property, birth, birth record, birth certificate, right? They're, they're using all these terms because the jurisdiction of admiralty being, being on the land is a fraud because you can't have water can't take the water or put the water on the land, right? Those so maritime law that they use. Right, right. So maritime law, admiralty law, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't equate to on land. That's that's sea law. Right. <clears throat> so it has no place on earth, on earth, even though it's sitting on earth, in the sea. Right, it's its own jurisdiction there. Right. So in, in the Constitution, they're saying that no state shall grant letters of mark and reprisal. So no state can commission a private ship to confiscate somebody else's stuff, right? Peace, Morris. Hey, they yeah. have a later this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saying <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, you saying something that got cut off. I don't know if I want to say that again. <laughs> talking about something in reverse. Um, where are we at again? Yeah, that's what you said. Oh, yeah, yeah. When Phoebe was saying that I was saying something before we got disconnected, you know how they do this, they try to mess up our thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we were talking about the, the Admiralty Maritime Law right. versus the Law of the Land, which is the Constitution and right. the treaties, what have you. Right, so, so check, check, and then check what you just said. Admiralty Maritime versus the Supreme Law of the Land. Absolutely. Right? All right. So what they're doing is fraudulent conversion is what they're doing. Right, and this, and this is the same thing with no state shall Continue grant letters of mark and reprisal. Mm -hmm. Because if, if the state is granting letters of mark and reprisal, then obviously they're versus the Constitution. Mm -hmm. If the state is coining money, emitting bills of credit, right, doing these things that they're not really supposed to be doing, they're, they're proving that they're not who they say they are, right? Um, <clears throat> make anything but gold and silver, coin, a tender in payment of debts, right? Um, pass any bill of attainder, right? Bill of attainder. See a tender, okay. All right, a tender. All right, so bill, bill of attainder, a legislative act directed against a designated person pronouncing him guilty of an alleged crime, usually treason, without trial or conviction 
according to the recognized rule and proceeding and procedure and passing sentence of death and attainder upon him. So special acts of legislature. <coughs> right? So if they're not supposed to pass any legislative acts, right, and they're passing legislative acts, that means they're versus the Constitution. And more than likely they're criminal. And we should probably consider not doing anything with them because they're going against what the Constitution says that they're not supposed to do. It's, a, um, it's under attainder, 162. It's under, it's under attainder. And then attainder is the, that extinction of civil rights and capacities which takes place whenever a person who has committed treason or felony receives sentence of death for his crime. Right? So to pass, to pass a legislative act that extinguishes people's civil rights is a violation of the Constitution. That's why the, that's why the theme is enforce the Constitution. You say repeat it. Yeah. Please repeat that again. The, 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 the the theme is enforce the constitution. Before that, about well, the passing legislative acts. So if if they're if they're passing legislative acts, right? When the constitution says that they they're not supposed to, that lets us know who we're dealing with. Because because the civil, civil because, rights. Yeah, because the 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 legislative, the 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 attainder right the attainder is the extinction of civil rights and capacities the bill is the act so bill of attainder are legislative acts that extinguish people's civil rights like driving codes like you have to go to the hospital Right? You have to take the flu shot. Right? You can't grow natural stuff in the garden. Right? All those, all those are bill of attainder. All those are all those are bill of attainder. Right? And now remember also a legislative act directed against a person pronouncing him guilty. If you get a ticket, right? If you get a ticket on the street and you didn't go to court yet and it says that you violated whatever, that's saying that you're guilty, right? Hmm. So tickets are also bill of attainders. Not just, not just um, um, IOUs or um, you know, stuff that you could accept for value. It's also criminal. In line with treason. Just a bill of attainder. Like a mere bill of attainder, a mere orange paper that somebody puts on your glass saying you're not supposed to be parked here $20 fine is a bill of attainder and and is equal to treason because they're not supposed to be doing that and not even equal to it, it is treason because they're not supposed to be doing that <laughs> right they have an oath that they're not supposed to be doing that but they go ahead and do it anyways
right? Um, what else was there? Um, ex post facto law. facto law. A law passed after the occurrence of a fact or commission of an act which retrospectively changes the legal consequences or relations of such fact or deed. By Constitution U.S. Article 1, Section 10, the states are forbidden to pass any ex post facto law. In this Connection, the phrase has much narrower meaning than its literal translation would justify, as will appear from the extracts given below. A statute which changes punishment, which may be imposed for a crime, therefore committed, is ex post facto only if it prescribes or permits imposition of a greater sentence. An ex post facto law has been defined as one, Every law that makes an action done before the passing of the law and which was innocent when done criminal and punishes such action. Two, every law that aggravates a crime or makes it greater than it was when committed. Three, every law that changes the punishment and inflicts a greater punishment than the law annexed to the crime when committed. Four, every law that alters the legal rules of evidence and receives less or different testimony than the law required at the time of the commission of the offense in order to convict the offender. All these and similar laws are prohibited by the Constitution, but a law may be ex post facto and still not amendable to this constitutional inhibition. That is, providing it mollifies instead of aggravating the rigor of the criminal law. The ex post facto law includes every law that creates and punishes a criminal offense which, when done before the passing of the law, was innocent. <clears throat> and every law that aggravates a crime or makes it greater than it was when committed and every law that inflicts a greater punishment than was attached to the crime when committed. Right? And it just goes on and on and on and on and on about creating punishments and creating laws and creating all these things that um, are making you all to be criminal. When prior to Europeans coming here, you can do those things freely and not worry about anybody pulling you over. Right? And remember, this is early in the Constitution. So this was obviously going to be an issue if it's this early. That they're talking about, you know, no bill of attainders, you know, um, coin money, gold and silver, you know, things that that we see today are an issue. Right? The things that we see today going on that we're saying, you know, governments abusing their power are all these things that they're talking about early in the Constitution. So obviously the framers of this knew that these things had to be in the first article right why are these things in the first article because all the things that they're talking about right in respect to government are are low on the totem pole they come up first because these are the are the violations that occur the most right 
these are the violations that occur the most. So if we look at it like on the chakra system, all the violations that occur are going to come from the root chakra. So Article 1 has all these low vibrational, you know, um, rules to govern these people, right? Starting with the legislative powers and, you know, vested in Congress, the House of Representatives and the members, right? The senators, the Vice President, the Senate, you know, and it goes through all the, the branches right um bills revenue resolutions voting right all these borrowing money commerce naturalization right punishment for counterfeiting and all this right all these things are laid out because these were obviously problems right that were that were seen to Becoming or that were happening at that time already Right, so they have to put things in place in writing Right um, Right to, def to define and punish piracies and felonies committed on the high seas Right Right, that, that came up, piracy. Right. Right. Piracy. In criminal law, a robbery or forcible depredation on the high seas without lawful authority done amino ferandi in the spirit and intention of universal hostility there is a distinction between the offense of piracy as known to the law of nations which is just justiciable anywhere and offenses created by statutes of particular nations cognizable only before the municipal tribunals of such nations. The term is also applied to the illicit reprinting or reproduction of a copyrighted book or print to lawful plagiarism from it. Pirate, a person who lives by piracy, one guilty of the crime of piracy, a sea robber, who, to enrich himself by subtly or open force, setteth upon merchants and others trading by sea, despoiling them of their loading, and sometimes depriving them of life and sinking their ships. One who acts solely on his own authority, without any commission or authority from a sovereign state, seizing by force and appropriating to himself without discrimination every vessel he meets with. Robbery on the high seas is piracy, but to constitute the offense and taking, a taking must be felonious. Consequently, the quo animo may be inquired into. Pirates are common sea rovers without any fixed place or residence who acknowledge no sovereign and no law and support themselves by pillage and depredations at sea. But there are instances wherein the word pirate has been formally taken for a sea captain. Right? So the term pirate, pirata, has been formally taken for a sea captain. Right? Now, it's where did it go? Alright, so the root piracies and felonies committed on the high seas, right? They are the the
eighth section, right? So the Congress shall have the power to define and punish piracies and felonies committed on the high seas and offenses against the law of nations, right? And that's one of the reasons why they sold out Congress. Because if Congress is responsible for defining and punishing piracies and felonies, then based on them exercising admiralty and maritime law on the people, when that's only supposed to be on the seas, right? And then they're robbing the people in this jurisdiction called maritime and admiralty, which is really law of the sea on the land, then they're committing piracy. All the time. All the time. All the time. Even when you go to the courtroom, they're not even, they're not even, they're not even uh, displaying a, a U.S. flag. It's an admiralty wartime, admiralty maritime war flag. Right. The eagle on the top of the gold fringes. Just have that flag in the courtroom. Well, it's not a courtroom. You know, but exactly right there. So right there is, is right. where right there is yeah, where right there is where the line gets drawn. Well, in a courtroom, they're not supposed to. But hold on a second. This is not a, this is not a courtroom. Right. Right. And 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 there, that 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 um um reaction. That reaction is what has to be going on in the people's mind when Morris talk. They're supposed to stop, say what, say what they just heard to themselves, right? Make it register, and then they're supposed to have a reaction based on what they were just told. You know, like, Barack Obama is not the first black president, right? Something's supposed to go off of, because the next logical question is, prove it. And then when you get the proof, you're supposed to change, change your tone. Right? But that's not, that's not what's going on. Right? There's no reaction. Why is the world, you know, logical why there's no reaction? Because the people are dead. The simple little more tools. You poke them with a stick all you want, he's not going to get nothing. Just a corpse sitting there. <laughs> it's not funny. Right, yeah, it's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we say things as funny, but you know, it's just, um, you know, the more I read, the more things just click, the more things just come together. But that's what, that's what I, was, I was speaking with Sis about earlier. With, with the questions, right? That there, there's there, like so much people are waking up right now. People are waking up by the hundreds by the day. People are waking up, right? But the problem is that they're, they're not waking up from studying. They're waking up from being told, right? So, it's not really waking up really. Because when you read it, it's different than me telling you. So the, 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 the only reason that we went through the questions with those terms to right was just to show how easy they're, they're, they are to access how easy it is to get the answers to the questions that you have. Just look up the word. And it'll tell you everything in there about it. It'll give you court cases. It'll give you everything. Just from, just from having a question, hey, why, you know, whatever. And then you go do research on that why. Or when. Or where, or who, or how, or, you know what I mean? taking that initial step because when you take that initial step to go look for it for yourself you're going to bump into other things that you weren't supposed to that you wouldn't have bumped into if somebody told you 
right? And those are the things, bumping into those things that you weren't told and that you weren't researching, but that are directly related to what you're researching and what you've been told, right? Exactly. Whatever you put in, you're gonna get out. You know what I mean? Right? So not not taken away from questions. Right? Questions are amazing. Questions are the best. But it's like it's like um you know um Like a sister called me earlier today. Well, I just have one question, you know. If we're Moors, how come we're putting Ish on the Moor? Right? If Ish, you know, means, uh, you know, it's taking us really away from being who we are, right? And my response was, where Noble Juali say? And then, and then there's no answer, right? Which means that there's no studying going on, right? There's hearsay. Because when I told her now that Nobu Juali said that, well, we're Moorish American because we're descendants of Moroccans born in America, then she had the light bulb go off. She's like, okay, well, so that so if we're descendants of Moroccans born in America, then that means we're really Moroccans. Like, yeah, but we're born in America, so we're Moorish. We're not the Moroccans, right? The Moroccans are our ancestors. We're our own people in this time, right? And we're known as Moorish American because there's there's. Um, Brazilian Moorish American, Cuban Moorish American, Mexican Moorish American, Olmec Moorish American, Washita Moorish American. There's all these Wash. There's all these Moorish Americans, or there's all these Moors in America, right? And our our free national name of Moorish American, right, is specific to the jurisdiction above Mexico. And only we could be that. Nobody else could claim to be us. Right? No one can't claim, just like how, you know, it'll be an issue if somebody claims, somebody who looks like us claims to be Jew. If somebody who looks like us claims to be Jew, there's a problem. Because there's some people who don't look like him that they claim to be Jew too. Or if we say, oh, we're Saudis, because we found out that you know, the first Saudis were black people. All right, so we're gonna call ourselves Saudis. They have a problem. So there's people who have been using that name Saudi longer than you've been using that name Saudi, and they have more stuff to back up, to prove that they're the actual Saudi and you're a fraud, even if they're the fraud, right? So with, with Moorish American, Nobu Ali said that we're that. So if we're gonna say take off the ish or whatever, we're basically saying prophet's wrong. He didn't know what he was talking about. And if we're gonna think like that about the prophet, then we might as well hang it up right now. Because if you're gonna go against the prophet, then what's what's the sense of of anything? Well, you know what, bro? Just <clears throat> talk about that. You know, if, if the lady was studying, I don't know if she was or not, but that's really, you know, in the etymology right there because, you know, we talk about groups. You know, we got more and more rich. When you talk about, talk about the evolution of the words and where they originate from and how they evolve over time based on geography and different things. Other right. factors, you know, it would just, you would find and discover that the group is still more. Right. And the fact that you use the term Morris does not diminish the value or meaning of who we are as being more. You know what I mean? Exactly. 
right? Yeah, earlier today. Well, not today, but the last couple of days I've been out to study. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, sim simply put, you know, ISH can't take away all the work that the Moors did. You know what I mean? And I don't hear the British worried about it. You know? Like, they're not worried. They're British because they know that they're not the Brits. They're later. It's like, we're not the Moroccans. We're Moroccans. We're our Moroccan, but we're not the Moroccans. You know, we're the Moroccans on Amer in America. We're not the Moroccans that went from North Africa, went to the Congo and Ghana and whatever. That's that's them over there. We had our own history over here. Fifty thousand years we've been over here, according to the prophet. You know, right? Fifty thousand years we've been on this side, doing doing what doing what we do. You know. Even outside of that, it's archaeological evidence that even supported it. Say that again? I said, I said, even, even, even outside of what you just said, it's archaeological evidence that even that supports it right. anyway. Exactly. But again, it comes down to, you know, are, are we studying? No, we're studying. You know what I mean? But on the mass scale, are we studying? You know? Because certain things, just like we're talking about, certain things, all it is is looking it up. And you'll be surprised that it's actually in the dictionary after you look it up. Especially, especially law dictionary. Especially a law dictionary. Just look it up. Even if you think you know what the word is, still look it up. Yeah, you had a question, bro? It's kind of off the subject, so I'll wait a little bit. Oh, it's, that's all good. Every, everything's always on subject. Um, I was talking to BB earlier before class started about taking my property and putting it into the, uh, into the, uh, the trust. Um, if I understand correctly, you can actually have a trust within a trust, can't you? Yeah. That's possible, right? It's 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 possible. It's not common practice, but um, yeah, but it's not something common, yeah. Because once you have the trust, there's no need to set up another trust to put. So who, who is the executor, executor of our trust? The, the, on, it depends on your perspective. The perspective could be the one who, the last person to have the actual paper in their hand, right? With regard to the creation of the trust or since there's been infiltration, we just leave it at Noble Juali and start from there. Because he did tell the Moors, put all your property in the name of Moor Science Temple or Noble Juali. Which which is which that's a trust. He can't make that statement if he's not talking about a trust. Yeah, we kind of talked about that last time. Right, yeah. yeah. Right? But but it's again it's it's the it's the infiltration, right? It's the infiltration because you don't want to you don't want to do things lacking knowledge, right? You want to do things because you know that's how they're supposed to be done. That's how we say with you know it's it's good that people have questions and all that but if you got questions you shouldn't be trying anything testing out the waters or whatever like people would eat you 
they won't care because they're 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 past being on their hind legs like they're they're on their stomach right now you know no arms no legs like it's only crawling for them right now right their time's over they're just trying to hold on to the little bit uh, that they have still you so know where can i find uh, more information on the uh trucks and I have to search it. Um, the the bet the best the best way is um, look online for something called Noble Jewelry Express Trust. Express Trust. Yeah. Noble Jewelry Express Trust and. Um, and Frank Lewis Bay. Frank Lewis Bay was the last um, trustee, let's say. What was his name again, brother? Frank Lewis Bay. I'm not sure. Lewis L-E or L-O-U-I-S? Um, L-E, L-E-W. L-E-W. Yeah. You say express trust. That's not the type of trust, because from what I understand, it's an ecclesiastical trust, right? Ecclesiastical CQ uh, trust, right? Well, it's it's it, it's an express trust because I'm just trying to find it right here. Because when when we um when we brought in the perspective. Okay, express trust, right? A trust created or declared in express terms and usually in writing as distinguished from one inferred by the law from the conduct of dealing or dealings of the parties. A trust created or declared in express terms and usually in writing as distinguished from one inferred by the law from the conduct or dealings of the parties. Right? So, Juali, when, when, when no Juali set up the trust, there was things that went with it in order to qualify, in order to qualify the trust itself. Right? So some of the things that were included was, you know, nationality card and um, Circle 7 Quran, a sealed copy of Circle 7 Quran, um, understanding chapter 47, which is talking about the trust and the estate and the jurisdiction of the Moors. Right? Um, and all this information about the trust was supposed to be passed down just like everything else. And people took the position of holding on to stuff. Right? And once people are holding on to stuff, like there, there's no, there's no help for the people. Because the ones that's supposed to be the teaching are the ones that's holding on to the stuff that the people are supposed to get. Which means that which means that they're violating their trust agreement. Because as a trustee, they're not supposed to benefit from the trust. 
And if they're going to say, well, there's a trust, but we're not going to tell people about it, they're benefiting from the trust as a trustee. Right? Because that because that that's power that they have. Right? To say that yes, there is a trust, but they can't talk like that to the beneficiary. Just just like how how we deal with with when we talk about the, the, the so called government officials. That they're trustees. They're not telling anybody what to do. They're being told what to do. Because that's their position. It's the same thing with grand sheiks and grand governors. They're trustees. Right? But they're trustees of the of the real, the real trust. The so-called public officials, government officials, they're trustees of a fake trust. Because once, once the government starts doing things that aren't in line with the Constitution, then all the power goes back to the people. And the only people that have any authority in Al Morocco, or Morocco, or Maghrib Al Aqsa, are Moorish Americans. And we have divine constitution and bylaws and all that to back up all that stuff. Right? And we have the documented proof to back up everything that we say. That there's no disputes. There's no, you know, somebody coming in at the last minute that, oh, you know, we found the thing that shows that they're not legit. Everybody knows we're legit. Everybody knows that there's a trust. But everybody doesn't know how to administer it because we're busy looking at, at you know, um, all these other things when the actual beneficiary is the trust. The one that's supposed to benefit from it is the trust. Think about it like when people say, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, start up a trust account because somebody died and we just want to put money away for their children or whatever like that and, right? And then everybody just puts money into this account, puts money into this account, puts money into this account, and then when the child's of age, that's theirs. Right? It's the exact same thing with, with, with everything that they're dealing with. Set up our account, have you put money in this account, put money in this account, put money in this account, tell you that you're paying a mortgage or whatever, you put money in this account, put money in this account, and they're taking the money and leaving with it. Right? Because they're your trustee, but you didn't tell them how stuff's supposed to run. So they, so they take the position of we're incompetent, and we'll run this stuff for you. We create birth certificates and we create social insurance numbers and driver's licenses and passports and whatever. We'll create all that stuff off of the Moorish Trust. But not tell people that it's that. We're gonna tell them that we got the money from a treasury department that does need, that's not even there. But they're, they're dissolved since 1933. And have everybody looking at you know, Monday morning, ring the bell, stock markets and all that, when all that is the Moorish trust that they're, that they're meddling in, that they don't really have jurisdiction in, but if the beneficiaries aren't benefiting from what's theirs, then somebody else is going to do that, which is where we are right now. And where they are is that they fronted, they fronted that, you know, they they had collateral. Then they didn't have any collateral. They're a brand corp corporation, pretending to be the de jure republic. That's supposed to be run by Moors, but when international communities deal with this jurisdiction, they're dealing with Europeans. 
and they still can't figure out what's going on. So they become allies. But you know, even now, now that caught up to them that their allies aren't even down with the fraud anymore. Right? So too with regard to trust, right? A right of property, real or personal, held by one party for the benefit of another. Right? A right of property, real or personal, held by one party for the benefit of another. So if Noble Jolly came and said, I have the mandate for the land, you know, I went to the Havana, Cuba, and I got the mandate for the land, right? And then he's telling all these individuals, you know, you're not Negro, black, colored, you're actually Moors. And I brought you everything it takes to save a nation. I brought you your, your name, your nationality, religion, title to your vast estate, your holy book, your, I brought everything for you, right? And then he died, got assassinated or whatever. Doesn't that mean all that stuff that he was collecting goes back, goes to the people who were down with what he was propagating? Like automatically, just because they're members just for the simple fact that they're members, they, they get a piece of the pie now. Right? And then those individuals were supposed to take their titles of nobility and they were supposed to administer the trust so that the people know about their birthright. So the people know that they have that they can claim. Imagine, remember, there was no skyscrapers and all this stuff. 1930s, 1929, 19 like not like we're seeing today, right? All that land that was sitting there from 1928, 29, right? should have got claimed and put into the trust for the members to benefit. So they have, now there's land, because Morris claimed it, not for themselves as individuals, but for the nation, and put it in a trust, just like Noble Jolie did. You know, but he was so advanced of his time he had to even come back and say, you know what? It's really not the first and second and third, but it's the fourth and fifth generation that's gonna benefit from what I did. It's gonna take you more than 50 years to find out what I did today and all that type of stuff. He, he's straight telling you that everybody around him was incompetent. Nobody around him was in the so position. Just has multiple, uh Say that again, the trust has? No, no, you, um, no, because you're saying that the trust, the trust has multi, multiple sums? Multiple benefits. Yeah, oh yeah. This is for nation building, for the benefit of the nation over time. Yeah, and, and that, so it also protects those assets as well. Right, and that's the only thing that it could be. The only, thing, the only thing a trust could be is for some beneficiary to be able to access 
at some point in time in the future. The Zeromans are still, they got their, they got their stuff in trust. Everything, they're still in there putting in trust. Yeah, but, but, but remember, the stuff that they're putting in trust, they're doing that in Europe. They're not putting anything in trust here. Well, the stuff they're stealing from here, they're, you know what I mean? Yeah, but they're not putting it in trust here. They're stealing it, but they're putting it in trust in Europe. Right, right. Right? Or in Rome. Yeah. yeah. Right? No. Be because, you know, what, what, that's what that was set up for. Right? That's if it's done on the fraud in the first place, then it, it don't mean nothing about what they put in the trust in, right? Sure. Not, not, it, it doesn't mean anything, but the, but the trust is how they, they get their wealth. Right? Like their wealth comes from them having things in a trust, not them having things, you know, tangible. Right? Like they don't have anything tangible. Everything that they have is in the trust of the Vatican. And those who are members. Nothing but they control everything. Yeah. That's the, that's the game plan. And the only way you own nothing and control everything is by putting everything you own in a trust. Right? But remember, we already have a trust set up for us. It's called Morris Science Temple of America and Noble Jewali. Right? And you put your things in there and just like the Vatican not just like because not in comparison to the Vatican but the Vatican is doing what the Moors should have been doing that's why the Vatican has so much wealth because when they do their their um, um, doctrine of discovery everything they discover they put it in the trust That's how they get away with doing everything. And on top of that, they're doing it behind a religion, which nobody's gonna touch. Because nobody's gonna touch anybody's religion. People don't even mess with atheists, and they don't even believe in the religion. Their trust is set up under the Vatican, and our trust, and our trust is set up under the uh, temple. Yeah. Which, which is a government just like the Vatican? Which is the jurisdiction just like the Vatican? Because the Vatican and the temple were set up at the same time. Right? The founding of the Vatican, the founding of the IRS, the founding of all these things happen just because of Nobu Juali. And people making moves to parallel everything that he was doing. Because he's the fifth and last prophet and he's five times more stronger than the prophets before him. So don't think that he's just coming on some, you know, wear robes and walk around, heal people, and that's it. You know? He was a, he was a diplomat, statesman. Right? He had, he, had, he had serious political power. Well, how are you gonna say that? Because he's not, just go look at the picture with him sitting next to Oscar the Priest, the first black congressman of Chicago that everybody knows. Right? Everybody knows Oscar the Priest. Especially people in Chicago. But none of them never seen that picture with him sitting next to Nobu Juali. 
right? Uh, and if they did see it, they're not talking about it. They're not bringing that to the attention of the people. That it's a documented fact that Oscar the priest was a member of the temple. Don't give too much credibility. Yeah, exactly. But you know, even though all the letters from those mayors give credibility, right? All that gives credibility. Resolution 75 gives credibility. Um, Europeans admitting that the Constitution for the United States of America comes from the Iroquois. That's admitting. National Treasure, all these movies that they come out with, exposing everything about everything. That's validating and verifying. But for some reason, people don't want that. For some reason, some strange reason, people don't want that with all that verifying out there. Everybody knows Martin Lawrence was in The Black Knight. Martin <laughs> You know what I mean? You know? Right? But, 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 you know, what's, what's the, what's the, what's the, um, the distraction? Oh, well, oh, he's playing, you know, um, oh, medieval, medieval times and, and Robin Hood and Friar Tuck and whatever. And we're not interested in that as black people because that has nothing to do with our culture. <laughs> right? When in the movie, he's the king of the whole place. Right? And then, and then he connected with the sister who was the queen of the whole place. And then when he came back, he connected with the sister in this, in this lifetime, showing that we are our ancestors. Like they drop, they drop so much stuff in that movie. A little, little movie, you know what I mean? Nobody pay attention to because, you know what I mean? I ain't just no knights and King Arthur and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black. We don't, we don't care about those stuff. Hmm. Want to be black and proud. You know what I mean? When the knights come from the fact that the Moors were dark skinned, that's why they were the knights. Not because they got knighted by the King Arthur. They were knights because they were brothers. Right? That's why they got Martin to play the Black Knight. <laughs> because he's a brother. And the knights were brothers. They got, they got, um, what's his name? Othello? Yeah. The, uh, Fishburne? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? So they put it out there. But. The people who are supposed to be getting it aren't getting it. And the people who, who are supposed to be getting it that aren't getting it, they're not getting it because of the sellouts who did nothing for so long and let these people get severely brainwashed. Like severely brainwashed. That they don't even know up from down. Like brainwashed on just because Moors didn't do what they're supposed to do. Moors want to play like, you know, we're the Moors over here and you guys aren't Moors over there unless you come over here. When everybody's Moors. And it's documented that everybody is Moors. Right? Like we talked about before that, Kemet fell. We talked about Kemet, it's 2013. We're talking about Kemet. And Kemet fell thousands of years ago. What are you talking about Kemet for? We're talking about Nubia, Timbuktu, and all these places that fell, that don't exist today on the planet. Like they don't exist today. Well, you know, um, Atlantis doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, it does. There's the Caribbean islands, that's the Atlantis Islands. That's not Caribbean, the West Indies, that's Atlantis Islands. There's the Atlantic Ocean. 
which comes from Atlantis. Atlantic comes from Atlantis. So even, even you can even claim that still today. For sure you can claim the Moroccan Empire because seals on the dollar bill, flags in the UN, like nobody's not, nobody can't refute that that exists still today. Where's, where's the Kushite flag and all these flags, all these nations that were, that were empires at one time and taught the world and all that. They're not around today. If they're not around today, no need to bring them up. No need to discuss them. Because they don't have any standing whatsoever. Because all those fell already. And the last one to fall was Kemet. And they gave everything to the Moors. Well, the British kicked the Moors out and blah, blah, and, and St. Patrick and the Moors fell. The Moors didn't fall. The Moors never fell. The Moors abandoned their birthright. And because the Moors abandoned their birthright, then there was a transition of power. Right? The meek shall inherit the earth. Well, the meek inherited, and now they're the elite. And the elite are now the meek. And then it's going to, the cycle is going to come back again, where the meek are going to be on top again. And that, at that time, it's for the meek to change the way they were doing stuff so the topple doesn't happen again. Right? right? Karma. Karma. She'll get you. You can't run from her. If karma's coming, trust me, you're going to get it. No running from karma. She got, she got, she got game. <laughs> you know? We were talking about, um, I think we talked about that last class, the last class I believe, how, how we, every, we've been working all our life and never been paid. <laughs> Yeah. We still we, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. Right. Actually, I've been talking about that all week. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and you know it's a it's a it's a shocker, but it's a reality. So you know we deal with it because they don't have any gold to pay us in anyways. So we're not gonna get paid in gold, right? And they're bankrupt. So the only thing they really have is debt notes. And we agreed because, again, if we have a, if we have a fraudulent trustee and the, be and the beneficiaries don't speak up about the fraudulent trustee, then the beneficiaries are obviously down with the fraud. Might as well be. And if they're down with the fraud, then you know it doesn't make sense complaining about anything. Yeah, somebody tell me about we're talking about the uh, the fiat. It is backed by gold and silver. I said that's not a gold or silver certificate. It's a debt note. It, it's right on there, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, but let me tell you, how, how can it be backed by something that's bankrupt? Right. Haven't been backed by gold. Since what, 1930? No, 1970 ish. When did they go up? They went bankrupt in 33. When did they go up? The gold standard in 71. Was it 71? When it went off the gold standard act? Um, the, 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 the process. The process of it is 33. 
right? Because the, the 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 whole the whole bankruptcy the whole bankruptcy front was to get the gold to to to, to a doctrine of discovery the gold, right? And get it out get it out get it out of of, of the land, get it out of the government's hands. Because we we're talking about infiltration, right? We're talking about government posts being abandoned, right? Government posts being abandoned. Because once once you abandon once you abandon your post, you know. Your, your camp is going to get raided. You know? Once you don't have a lookout, you don't know what's coming. You know? So we're, we're, well, we're, we're taking the steps. We're taking the steps as active Mars to see that the the, the 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 structure of government doesn't completely deteriorate right because the temple is also there to teach government the temple is also an institution of government the temple is also a, a branch a branch of the Moorish government, right? But they would actually go up the curve, say, in 1971. Because in 1970, a dollar was actually valued at a dollar. Because it was a back of my son. As soon as it, it took, you know, as soon as it went off, the gold standard act, everything went down, you know, very quick from there. Right. And 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 again too, that's that that all that is based on all that is based on having the trust in what Noble Drawley said and carrying out what he said. Man said study, study, study. And man said, think and you'll save yourself. Think and you'll save yourself. That's a bold statement. Especially during a time when everybody's trying to show you how they can save you. And this individual is telling you, that actually, why don't you just think and save yourself? You don't have to worry about anybody else. No, and he was right because those Moors that are active, they know that it's up to them, right? That's why only active Moors are active because they know, right? They 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 they've, they've adopted being active as as not not a not a level that somebody's going to bring you to because they brought you through some chamber or they gave you some certificate now you're active now you're at it because you know we said that you're at it no you're at it because you study and no one could make you that either you're that or you need to study more. And studying doesn't stop. Study will last forever. No. But was there any more any other stuff that we have to touch on? I don't have anything at this time. I'm gonna look at the trust though. Did you want to touch on 
on the Supreme Court. Oh, the Supreme Court thing, right. Um, um, Supreme Court of the United States, the court of last resort in the federal judicial system. It is vested by the Constitution with original jurisdiction in all cases affecting ambassadors, public ministers, and consuls, and those in which a state is a party, an appellate jurisdiction over all cases within the judicial power of the United States, both as the law and fact, with such exceptions and under such regulations as Congress may make, its appellate powers extend to the subordinate federal courts and also in certain cases to the Supreme Courts of the several states. The court is composed of a chief justice and eight associate justices. Right? Now the difference between the United States Supreme Court and the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania is that the real jurisdiction of the government is really in in that area, Pennsylvania, New York, etc. When we go back and read George Washington's letters and Benjamin Banneker's letters and you know the, the, the signing of all these documents, none of it was done in what we call today the capital. Right? The capital of today is not the capital of the founding of the government. So everything that has any type of legitimacy as far as government structure is connected to those, those states where these um, administrations of government took place, right? So like, um, you know, Liberty Bell and things like that being in Philadelphia is history, right? Um, Moors, Moors in Philly, right? The Moors in that jurisdiction would be good to build with on further um, validation or proof with regard to um, Pennsylvania, Philly, etc., their um, impact on setting up the government. Because there is tremendous amounts of history with regard to these areas and the Republic government before the infiltration started and before, you know, people trying to take over, you know. So it's, it comes down to, to the, it comes down to jurisdiction and what jurisdiction is supreme. If you're, if you're using the constitution as the supreme law of the land, then you have to go back to that time to understand what was going on during that time and why certain things were done, right? Like, well, like, why would they move the capital from Philadelphia to Washington D.C.? To take it out of the private and put it into the public. Do you know what I mean? Taking out private, put it into the public, right? Or taking it out private and put it into the private. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Because they knew that if we, if this is information that's around people, it's gonna get out. And the last part, people we want free are slaves. The last person we want knowing anything about this are people who are the beneficiaries of this trust that we're stealing, right? Because we've tricked the people into thinking that they're something that they're not. So we'll just, we'll just administer the trust as trustees and then we'll benefit through the back door, right? And then how they benefit through the back door? They say, okay, well, you know what? We're going to start this um, court called United States Supreme Court. And that's going to be the Supreme Court where all stuff is going to happen in because of whatever. And get people to forget about Court of Pennsylvania. Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. Right? Um, get people to accept that, you know, well... You know, it's the society that we live in, you know, the only way you're going to get water is if you drink from that thing with that sign that says black on it. Or that thing that says colored on it. You can't get any water or anything any other way. And those, and those that, you know, were unintelligent ended up slaves. And those were, that were intelligent if they're on water, they go to the well. Or the river. They don't need they don't need to go through no colored door when they could just go. They're gonna go through colored door to go to a restaurant. Right? When they can just go pick whatever they want to eat. Anytime that they want to, nobody bothering them or nothing. Let's go pick what you want to eat. Let's go dig it up, roast it, boil it, whatever, and no. So, but get get at um get at um you can even get a Sabir. You can even get a Sabir to get some some of that um history more history of of government in in um Pennsylvania. You know, talk to Sabir Bay. There's a couple more mores out there, you know, that you can you can reach out to because you know it's just it's just the info that you want, you know, names and places, you know what I'm saying? Um I think um I either either I think it was one of the national treasures. One of, the, yeah, one of the national treasures was, was based on the whole Philadelphia thing. That might have some references in it to check, you know. Um, and, and again, just, you know, just more is out there. Just, you know, regardless of what they got, more is out there got info. Yeah. I mean, uh, some 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 people have info and won't answer any questions. To also, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, if 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 hopefully that's not the case with everybody, <laughs> because you know what I'm saying that's um that particular info is a a good um it's a good 
reference reference point for going before the Declaration of Independence and all that. You know what I mean? Which would get you, which would get get us more tied into the the transition, right? How it went from our hands to their hands, right? Because it was it was based on us setting that up, right? Setting up, well, we're coming out of power, so we're gonna transfer our power to these people right here. And they're gonna be trustees until we get back into our position of power so we can take everything back. Right? Yeah. But um yeah I don't know I don't know if there was anything else. I think that's that's about about it. Yeah, I would say this, you know, that I don't have anything else to say. It's funny there's a book that I've been reading by uh, Taj about uh, how to study. Yeah. You know, we just took a small ex excerpt excerpt from the uh Constitution, the, uh, what was it, uh, Article 1, Section 10? Yeah. Just that small uh, section that we read from, and we covered letters of Mark, bills of attainder, ex post facto law, and in the book, as he was explaining and how, how to study, it's like, of course, you got to expand your vocabulary. Yeah. And we're saying that one of the rules of some study is to, to never read past a word that you don't understand. Right. So that right there will keep you stopped when you read these law books, you know what I mean? Or when you study any type of case law until you start to understand all those words, you know, you're going to be keeping that dictionary handy, always keep an unabridged dictionary handy, yep. unabridged law dictionary handy. Those are some of the things that you're talking about. Before. Right, right. It's a very good book. Yeah, man, yeah. A very good small book. <laughs> hey, no small book. I was just telling Phoebe, I said, I said, we pay good money for these little books, but I said, each one of these little books is like this. Yeah, man, yeah, straight up. <laughs> Hey, well, a little bit. There's like two of them together. Because <laughs> if you start looking at all the reference material in there, yeah, you can read like this. That, yeah, and that, that, that's really what that's what it's for. You know what I mean? Give you give you reference points so you can go out and do your own. This little book, I, I need to read this about fifteen times. Fifteen times, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a roadmap. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. That's how real it is, though. You know yeah, what I mean? That's 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 just how real it is. You know. And once we once we keep at it, we're gonna see that light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know. Once we keep at it, it's it's only natural that we bump into that. You know, it's only natural. Well, I guess it's prayer time. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> this dude said no DD. Right on. Right on. Right on. No, no diggity, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is them uh, Tiger's, uh, Tiger's Eye beads you got on there? No, no, these are um, Buddhist, Buddhist beads. Okay. Yeah. Because I've been looking for me a, a tiger's uh, eye uh, necklace. I found one online, but for it was only 17 inches. My neck only 17 inches. You found a choker on that. No chokers, please. Chokers. No chokers. The five on the left, two on the right. A lot of father of the universe. 
Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation. By night and by day. Through his holy prophet, Noble Juali. Islam. Islam, <laughs> 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 Yeah, good session, good session tonight. Yeah, always. Get in that, get in that dictionary a little bit. That was good, yo. It's been a while since I opened this thing up. Dictionary? <laughs> yeah. Who's in it last time? Huh? Who's in it last time? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying, it, but since then. Oh, since then. Okay. Since then, you know what I mean? It's been a lot of online work. Yeah. Yeah. Always something else to study. Straight up. Gotta be. The better, the better be something else to study. Abaddon. Yeah. Yeah. Moorish Master MC.